Monica was somebody who could have gone into oblivion had it not been for the fruit of her pain. She never abandoned the project. She was born of Christian parents herself at Tagaste in North Africa in 332. She was married to Patricius, a good man, but rather unsettled in his temperament. He could lose his temper and indeed sometimes be unfaithful. But he was converted himself to Christianity in the year 371. He was baptized on his deathbed the following year. Monica was left thus on her own with the care of her son Augustine, who at the age of 16 was a catechumen, but still a victim of his passions and involved in the Manichaean heresy. Rather than distance herself from her son, Monica tried to stay close to him, but Augustine deceived her and escaped to Italy. It was only some time later when Augustine was being influenced by the preaching of St. Ambrose at Milan that Monica could rejoin him. She had the joy of attending his baptism at Easter in 387. She was going to return then to North Africa, but as we see in the Confessions of St. Augustine, she was taken ill at the port of Rome, Ostia. Augustine and his brother were both with her. She expressed a desire to be remembered at the altar, regardless of where her body would rest. Eventually, her body found its way to the heart of Rome and is there now in the Church of the Augustinians. Her feast has been moved to the vigil of the feast of her son, indicating the close link between the two, and a reminder also of the way in which a mother can always recuperate her son, for a mother always remains a mother. And that little spark, even in a hardened heart, sometimes can get through. One time I was listening to a fellow monk of mine in France who was saying how when they had to do military service, because he had opted for one of the hardest of all, where they train in very severe conditions, in one training operation the conditions were so severe, so icy cold, that the young troops were banging their feet against anything, boulders or stones, to try and get some circulation, and were in such pain at night, and after a while of considerable pressure, some were almost in delirious condition, and they were crying out in French, Maman! Ma'am! The last cry of the heart is for ma'am, and therefore a mother always remains a mother, and has power of the hardened of heart. You next Oh.